Okay, this is uh, an action I developed a while ago, and uh, I've recently made a few minor improvements to it. And it's called Mannequin, M-A-N-A-K-I-N, and it's right here in the Actions palette. And what this is going to do is it's going to let the end user create like a surreal uh, type of fake mannequin effect uh, from uh, natural photographs such as this, or it can be used to create uh, fabulous looking skin tones. It'll give you that, uh, you know, that magazine style, you know, you know uh, look where the skin is absolutely perfect. And uh, that's done with a few end user adjustments. Now the first thing you'll need to do to use Mannequin is to open Adobe Photoshop. And uh, I believe you'll need CS2 or higher to use this. And open your Actions palette and you'll need to load the Mannequin Actions. So you would just select Load Actions here, navigate to the Mannequin by P-Shop Magic folder, and double-click the Mannequin Action, and that will load that into your uh, Actions palette. Uh, once it's loaded, you can move it to the top and expand it. And there's only a few things inside uh, and about me and uh, some contact information and the actual process itself. And uh, now let's run Mannequin on this image and uh, see what we get. So just click the Mannequin Run action and then click the Play button in the Actions palette. Okay, now after a while, um, you'll get a uh, notice that when the Surface Blur window appears, uh, our preset values are going to be loaded. And our values work good on most images. However, you can make uh, any type of adjustment that uh, you see fit. So just click Continue. And Surface Blur is going to open. And here, our value is a threshold of 15 and a radius of 50. Uh, this works good with most images, but feel free to experiment. For now, we'll leave these uh, settings the, the, uh, the same here and click OK. OK, and... Uh, process is done. You can click stop. You'll want to read this information here. It'll help you out. So click stop. Now in our layers palette we have three layers. We have a layer called top blur, base blur, and the original art. Okay. The top blur you'll see that the opacity is set at 50 percent. By increasing that opacity it's going to intensify that softening, smoothing effect, where now she basically looks fake. And by decreasing it, okay, you're basically, if you go down to zero, you're taking all of the top blur off. But for now, let's put it back to 50. Okay, and if we take top blur off completely and just go with base blur, this is a more natural type smoothing effect. A lot of times this can be used as is. And this is what our original artwork looked like, which is quite a bit different. Okay, now at this point, you know, you can make an adjustment, as I said, to the top blur and flatten the image and just go with it. However, what most people are going to want to do is you're going to want to use the uh, smoothing effects that the action has on the skin, but you want to retain, let's say, uh, no effect, no smoothing in the hair, the eyes, the lips, possibly, you know, the clothing, and any other uh, part of the image that does not contain skin, okay? Now, there's a very simple way to do this. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the original art layer, okay? And uh, for now, we're going to use both the top and the base layer by merging them. However, you know, you could just decide to use one or the other. So let's uh, make sure that these are both selected. And let's go up to the icon in the upper right-hand corner of Layers. And let's choose Merge Visible. Okay, now just Top Layer, uh, Top Blur, I'm sorry, will be uh, in your Layers palette along with the original art. Okay? Uh, top Blur now has an opacity at 100%. And, you know, this, this I'm sorry, let, uh, let me turn on the original art. And this... Uh, this can be brought down to try to make it look a little bit more natural. For now, let's leave it at 
So what we're going to do now is select the top blur and we're going to add a layer mask to this layer. Okay, we're going to make sure that our foreground color is black and we're going to select the brush tool. Okay, and you want to select the brush tool and have somewhat of a, of a feathered edge to it. Okay, and now making sure that the layer mask is selected. Okay, we're going to, let's zoom in on the image a little bit here. Let's make our brush a little smaller and we're going to paint with black inside the layer mask. And what we're doing here, you see, now we brought back her original eye. And you can see the difference between the two. Okay, and now we'll do the same with the other eye. So if we turn off the original art, you can see that we, what we basically did with the layer mask is we're removing data from the uh, top blur layer. Okay. Now let's turn back on the layer mask. And now let's go to her lips. And let's paint within the mouth and bring back that natural type look. I'm not going to be, you know, super perfect here. I'm just giving you an idea of what to do. Okay, now we'll zoom out and let's make the brush much larger. Still working in the layer mask, let's remove that effect from her hair. And as you can see, the original hair is coming back with all of its detail and color. And here again, I'm not going to be super perfect about what I'm doing, just giving you an idea. And we could turn off the uh, original art layer to make sure we, we got enough of it. Okay, and it looks good right here. And the last thing we're going to do is let, let's zoom in again and let's bring back her eyebrows to where they uh, originally were. Let's make our brush a little smaller. And let's, let's paint the eyebrows inside the layer mask. Okay. Now when we turn the layer mask on and off, that's the original photo, and there's our version with the, uh, the perfect skin. And um, if we want here, we can go up to opacity, and we can lower that opacity a little bit. We'll bring it down to 60%. Now this gives the image more of a natural look, but as you can see, it's still... Um, in, it, it repaired the uh, the skin, it took all of the natural artifacts away, and it just gave it that perfect makeup type look. And, uh, and that's about it. I think this is a great little action to use. It's very, very simple. And, uh, you know, I can go on and on and use, uh, you know, other images, show you a few other things, but I think you get the idea. And once you're happy with how the image looks, just make sure both of your layers are selected here. And you can go to the icon in the upper right-hand corner of Layers, and you can either choose Merge Image or Flatten Image, and that will just give you that single layer. For now, we'll just use a, for now choose a, we'll just use Flatten Image here. And there you have it. And let's switch back to the original, and we'll switch to our skin repaired version. And uh, one thing I'd like to add is that this uh, action is absolutely free. Okay, we don't charge a single dime for it, and it's available for download at pshopmagic.com. You will have to register for an account. Just enter your email address, make up a password, and this way you'll be able to log in to your account at any time and uh, access all of your downloads, and we'll be adding more and more uh, free and premium actions, plugins, and filters for Photoshop to P-Shop Magic um, as time goes by. Thanks a lot.